everybody and welcome back to another video. It feels weird to say but this is going to be my last video of 2021 so I wish you guys all the best in 2022 and a happy new year. Um, I know 2021 hasn't been the easiest year for everybody so I hope you're all doing okay. Um, for this year for my sort of end of review video usually I sit here and have a little talk about some of the videos that I've made this year um, to sort of celebrate the year but anyway, I thought this year we'd do things a little bit differently. I'm still gonna do that, but I thought to make the video a little bit more interactive, I thought I would do a bit of a this is me quiz of the videos that we've created this year. So uh, they're gonna be multiple choice, so not too tricky. There might be a few interesting ones to say the least. But anyway, if you'd like to take part, be sure to grab a pen and paper or a tablet or your phone or whatever you want to write the answers down on. Pause the video, I'll let you have a little bit of time to grab it. Got it? Okay, so starting off in January, it was a little bit of a weird time of year for us. Well, us especially in the UK. Um, we went back into a full down, full sort of lockdown. So um, I know that was a really difficult time for people. So I hope you're all doing well at the moment. Um, it was really strange because um, for me, like I, we weren't able to, for example, take Joey to places um, for arena hires. And I was also like over the summer used to, uh, safely we went and saw lots of different people um, and riders at their yards and filmed that. So the content I was creating all had to be at home. So um, I thought I would, I was gonna say kickstart my beginner series. I've already like previously done a few videos. So I decided to continue my beginner series and I did lots of videos that Hopefully it helped some of you guys, especially if you're new to riding and horses. So um, I did my like grooming video, how to groom a horse, how to tack up a horse, um, the rules of feeding and lots, lots more. So anyway, we are now on to the first question and that is in my beginner series, how to tack up a horse video, which horse did I use as a demo? Was it A, Casper, B, Joey, C, Mickey or D, Vallegro? Okay, be sure to write your answers down, A, B, C, or D. Okay, um, then as the year went on, me and Max had some fun and we did a horse versus human challenge. Thank you so much, Max, for taking part in that video. Um, we both had a lot of fun where we had to do lots of different challenges, um, but one of the challenges involved eating. Now, the question is, what did Max have to eat in the horse versus human challenge? Was it A, horse treats? B, pink frosted sprinkle donuts. Was it C, apples? Or D, banana skins? Okay, then as the year went on, I was very lucky to be able to go and visit the Charles Owen factory where I got to build my own body protector, but I also got to go to the home of innovation where I got to see where they test all the ho helmets, almost tested them to destruction, which was really, really interesting. But anyway, they had a helmet in there from a famous rider who had quite a bad fall. And the question is, whose helmet did I see there? Was it A, Ellen Whitaker, B, Harry Childs, C, Laura Kraut, or D, Tom Holland. <laughs> Also in 2021, I finally managed to find out what Mickey's DNA was. Now, I, I've been wanting to find out what breed he was for so long, so we sent his DNA, a little bit of his mane, all the way over to Texas to find out. So the question is, what was the mane or top breed that they thought Mickey was? Was it A, thoroughbred, B, standard bred, C, Arabian, or D, unicorn. But the challenges with Max didn't quite end there because it was then time for bike versus horse. So it was me on Casper, him on his bike. We had, the race honestly was so much fun. There was one point where it was really close, head on head, especially when we got to the top of the hill. But the question is, what power was Max's bike? Was it A, powered by his legs, B, powered by electricity, C, cheaters never win, or D, wind power. And Max, we all know what that wind power is. In the spring, we also started the stable renovation series, which was definitely a favorite from you guys. I had so much fun doing it, from pressure washing all the stables down, sanding them, painting them, adding the extension, adding the wash bay, 
all that sort of stuff, that took a long time and I think my arm probably is still aching from all the painting. But the question is, what colour grey did I use for the main colour on the stables? Was it A, tundra, B, seagull, C, smoke, or D, mole breath? Also this year I had so much fun with the Knights of Middle England, I did some horse archery where I honestly felt like a Disney princess while doing it. That was so much fun. A little tricky to start with, but I managed to get the hang of it. And I also did some jousting with them and oh my goodness, that was so much fun. We also did some other sort of night games. So I had to cut an apple with a sword while cantering. But anyway, the question is, while I was jousting, who was I jousting against? Was it A, the Earl of Wessex, B, the Earl of Warwick, C, the Earl of Sussex, or D, Earl Grey. This spring, I was lucky enough to head up to London and go and have some fun and ride some horses in a really cool park there um, with Eleanor and Jody. There was one point I think Eleanor got mud or sand or goodness knows what in her face because Jody's horse zoomed and it was it wasn't eat my dust it was eat my mud because it was a little bit rainy that day but oh we had so much fun now the question is which park did we ride in was it a regent's park b green park c hyde park or d car park this year after lockdowns, not being able to do arena hires, I finally managed to get Joey out and we did a little bit of competing. And the question is, what did we do for our first sort of show in 2021? Was it A, a dressage show, B, a jumping show, C, a combined training show, or D, fancy dress? Honestly, that day I was so nervous beforehand, even the night before, but we had so much fun and I really hope in 2022 we'll get some more time to go out there and have some more fun competing. Okay, <laughs> this summer I did a 24 hours challenge where I spent 24 hours in the tack shop or equestrian store, Red Post Equestrian. Now, the question is, because I was staying there for 24 hours, I had to do lots of challenges and things. So I got a little bit hungry in the middle of the night and I got a midnight snack. Now the question is, what was the snack? Was it A, beans on toast? B, a white hot chocolate with a cupcake? C, a chocolate brownie? Or D, locale balancer? Back in 2020, I did a Challenge Esme Endurance, and in 2021, this summer, I had so much fun doing um, an, a proper endurance competition with Beth Endurance. Now the question is, what was the name of the horse that I rode? I think we did around 30 kilometers in total. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit tired afterwards, but anyway, what was the name of the horse that I rode? Was it A, Wizzy, B, Tizzy, C, Dizzy, or D, Dipsy. Honestly, that horse was so much fun. And thank you so much again, Beth, for having us. That was honestly one of one of my top days of 2021. It was a lot of fun, but I was a, a, little, a little sore afterwards. I also did another challenge where I became a farmer for the day. Now the question is, Rafe, who owned the tractor and things, how scared was he on a scale of one to 10 of me crashing his tractor? Was it A, 10, B, 10, C, 10, or D, 10? I have a feeling you guys might get this one right. <laughs> Question 13. This was honestly one of the best days of 2021 and that was when I rehomed Duke. Him being part of the family, honestly, it feels like we've had him for ages and that's definitely one of the best things I've done this year and it honestly makes me so happy to see how happy he is with us, with his proper home and with Mickey and how good friends they are. Um, he's starting to become a little bit more friendly with Casper. Joey loves him as well. He always goes over to Joey, says hi. Um, Joey also, he's so messy. He likes to eat his haylage like with his head over the stable door. So the other day, Duke actually came over and started eating the haylage out of Joey his mouth as it was like hanging out so I think those two are definitely quite good friends but anyway the question is where did we get Duke from was it a world horse welfare b red wings c the blue cross or d 
wish.com. We also did Food Battle 2021, the first time with four different horses and it was Duke's first ever food battle. Now, the question is, what was the new challenge or trial that was added to Food Battle? Was it A, the bowl of bravery? Was it B, the brick of wonder? Was it C, the cube of chaos? Or was it D, the apocalypse apple? Now, I feel like this food battle, um, I feel like next year's food battle might be a little bit better. I feel like Duke might need a little bit more training, you know, he was new to the family. He wasn't quite, you know, in with the food battle challenges. He, he struggled with a few of them, but he tried his best. So A for effort for him, but maybe there might be a new challenge for 2022. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Also this year, I was lucky enough to go to the Blenheim Horse Trials and I did a course walk with Felicity Collins. Now, um, we had so much fun looking at all the different fences, especially up close. Some of them were absolutely huge, way taller than me. But the question was, what was the jump that I jumped and Felicity was too wimpy to jump herself on foot? Okay, she might. she's brave enough to do it on a horse, but I, I give her that, I give her that. I wouldn't be able to do it on a horse. But the question is, what was the fence that I jumped? Was it A, the crocodile pit? Was it B, the coffin? Was it C, the carp hatchery? Or was it D, Colin the caterpillar? I also had so much fun this year filming at Breen Sports Horses with Caroline and Trevor Breen. Since then, I've also had quite a few lessons with Trevor on Joey and honestly, we've both come on so much this year, me and Joey, and I had so much fun. So thank you so much, Trevor, for all of that. But um, the first day we're at where I went and filmed with them and interviewed them, I also got to ride one of their incredible horses called Dougie. Now the question is, what height has Dougie competed to? Is it A, Discovery, B, Novice, C, Grand Prix, or D, Cross Poles? <laughs> Honestly, that day I can't get over. I had so much fun and to ride a horse that nice, it was like a dream come true. Anyway, anyway, on to the next thing. Since we got Duke, the stable renovation series did not end there because we had to sort of create him a stable. Um, now the room before it was Duke's, the question is, what was it before? Was it A, a feed room, B, a storeroom, C, an organized chaos room, or D, an escape room? I feel like this whole sort of year, I've just been fixing up stuff around the yard, doing projects, that kind of thing, which I've had so much fun. But it's like, I feel, it feels weird because now all of that's done. It's like, what am I gonna do in 2022? I have no, I have nothing to paint. I'm sure I'll find something to paint, don't worry guys. <laughs> but anyway, on to the next one. Also this year, with the whole stable renovation, it didn't even end there either because I had my whole new tack room that I spent, I think I did four layers of white paint on the walls. Again, I feel like this whole year I've been painting, but I I got way too excited. I had way too much fun decorating and designing the whole tack room, putting all the furniture in there, organizing everything. It was honestly, like, I think I had more fun on that day than I did on my birthday. I'm not gonna lie. That was, I, I got very happy and excited that day. But anyway, one of the things you guys found really satisfying was me putting up all of my saddle pads. Now, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use the real answer because I don't wanna lie to you guys because I don't quite know how many saddle pads I have and I get asked this a lot because obviously the name, the number is ever changing. Um, so I've got some rough estimates of how many saddle pads I have here. So for question 18, in my tack room, how many saddle pads roughly is there? A, 28, B, 58, C, 98, or D, too many? I'll let you decide on this one. <laughs> this year, I did my first ever trip abroad in quite a while where I went to Ireland. Um, we met Kian O'Connor, filmed around his incredible stables. Now the question is, in the intro of the video, which city or town am I in? Is it A, Cork, B, Dublin, C, Galway, or D, Limerick. 
That video was honestly so much fun to film and I was lucky enough to also ride one of his horses called Katie and she was incredible as well and was so lovely and yeah honestly that yard was just goals. Everywhere you looked it was just so beautiful especially the whole spa that they had for the horses as well was just amazing. But anyway, this year Riding Dares also returned for question 20. Now, um, I haven't done, a, I hadn't done like a Riding Dares in like a good few years so we had a lot of, we had a lot of fun with that one. Um, I was a little bit nervous to start with, especially when you guys made me jump Casper with no hands. Luckily my balance was, was all right, it was all good for that, so didn't face plant, but would not recommend doing that. For my riding dares video, the question is, what was the last dare or challenge that I had to do? Was it A, to the moon and back, B, across the mountain, C, around the world, or D, jump one meter 50 on Joey and Casper by Roman riding them bareback over the jump? I'll give you a hint, it might not have been that last one. Although you guys might have asked me to do that one. You know, there are, there are some things I'll do for YouTube, but risking my life is not one of them. This year also, I did another Instagram controls my life after a lot of you guys requested it. And the question is, this is a little bit of a strange one. In the video, why was Casper a little bit nervous? <laughs> was it A, men with chainsaws? B, Duke going on a rampage? C, Mickey giving him a lick attack, or D, an unknown source of spaghetti in his stable. Um, <laughs> there is quite, quite some, quite some, you know, answers to that one. I feel like, I don't know, it might be a little bit of a true question, I don't know, but um, yeah, I, if you know the answer, you know the answer. I feel like if you haven't watched that video, you are gonna be very surprised when you see the answer. <laughs> anyway, that is the last question. I just, before I go through the answers, I just want to say thank you so much to you guys for watching my videos and making this all possible and making my 2021, because without you guys, I wouldn't be here making these videos or doing YouTube as my job. So I really do appreciate it and thank you so much. But anyway, now on to the answers. Let me know in the comments below how you do, or if you get a few wrong, let me know which ones, you know, you slipped up on. I feel like that would be quite interesting. Um, for question one, it was A, Casper. So Casper was the horse that I used for the how to tack up a horse video. I feel like he's the best horse, horse for things like that because he's so chilled, he will literally just stand there and fall asleep. When I feel like Joey might be a little bit more fidgety, I still haven't decided if that's a young horse thing or a Joey thing, but the older he gets, I'm starting to think it might just be a Joey thing. Anyway, for horse versus human, question two, the answer was B, pink frosted sprinkled donuts. I am such a good sister. I wouldn't make Max eat banana skins. You know, I was really kind to him. He had donuts to eat. Who doesn't want donuts? Anyway, on to question three, which was at the Charles own factory. Whose helmet was it? It was Laura Krauts. That honestly was so shocking to see because her horse stood on her head and one of the horses like studs went in partially to her helmet, which was wild to see the stud in the helmet. So anyway, it goes to show, stay safe out there guys. Um, for question four, for the Mickey DNA, the answer was supposed to be B, standard bread. But if you put D, unicorn, I'll, I'll give you a point for that as well because Mickey really is a unicorn. That's, that's, that's no doubt about it, no doubt about it. For bike versus horse, um, you know what? I feel like whatever you put for this one, I'll give you a point because technically Max did use his legs. The main answer was probably B, electricity. C, cheaters never win. I feel like that's a good enough answer. And D, wind power. I'm sure there was some wind power used, um, but we won't embarrass Max too much. Okay, onto the stable renovation. Um, the color was, um, I do know the color. <laughs> For <laughs> the stable renovation, the colour was a tundra. So well done if you got that correct. I felt like smoke was a little bit, you know, because that was the other colour that we used on the stable, I'm pretty sure. But the main colour was tundra. That was the, the, the specific grey. <laughs> For jousting, the answer was B, the Earl of Warwick, because it was with the Knights of Middle England that are based in Warwick, near Warwick Castle, which is kind of cool. Um, 
for question eight, it was C, Hyde Park, although I'm sure, you know, riding around a car park wouldn't be too interesting <laughs> if you put that one. For Joey's first show, I feel like this one might get a few people, but it was C, combined training, because we did dressage and show jumping at one show, although we have done a lot of dressage um, over this summer. We had lots of fun doing that, and the last show I did with him, he came second and third, and I was so proud with him and his little rosettes. I got a picture of him with them, and uh, it just made me so happy, so I really, really do want to get out with Joey a little bit more. That's like one of my New Year's resolutions for 2022. I want to be able to get him out at least once a week, if that's an arena hire or a competition. We'll see, we'll see if that happens, but I'm gonna try and make it happen, or at least like a lesson. I have like a lesson once a week with my instructor, but like a lesson where we go out somewhere and the horse walks. Um, oh, question 10 was at Red Post. What was my midnight snack? And that was B, a white hot chocolate and a cupcake. So if you remember that, well done. I feel like that's a really oddly specific question. <laughs> For endurance, it was B, Tizzy, who I rode. Honestly, that horse was so much fun. Not gonna lie, she was quite whizzy, but she, she's just such a fab endurance horse and she really looked after me and we both just had smiles on our faces the whole time. For the fun for the day, you guys all got this question correct, and that is 10. I think Rafe was highly concerned that I was going to crash his tractor. To be fair, we were in a big open field, so there wasn't really anything I was gonna crash into. There was one point where I messed up a little bit, but that's that's fine. I mean, the only time where I almost crashed it, but I didn't, I well, he, he took the steering wheel for a little bit, and that was when um, there was like a, I was gonna say electric fence pole, but not that. You know, like a telephone wire pole or electricity wire pole. Um, I didn't realize that there were like little little wires holding it up and I almost went into one of the wires, but it's fine. He steered me out of the way. So it was, it was all good. It was all good. Question 13, where did Duke come from? No, I didn't buy him on the internet from wish.com. Um, he was from Wild Horse Welfare, which is answer A. So well done to everyone who got that one correct. I hope you got it correct because I feel like I go on about that he's from Wild Horse Welfare all the time. Question 14 was food battle. What was the new challenge? And that was the Brick of Wonder. You know, everyone knows the Brick of Wonder, right? Everyone loves the Brick of Wonder. Um, that one, <laughs> that one, Mickey, I think it was Mickey. I don't know why, he, he's, I feel, felt like he struggled with that one. Can't remember who it was, was it Casper that like just dragged it across the ground? I'm gonna have to like rewatch that video because <laughs> I feel like it was so chaotic. My brain just can't re quite remember what happened because it all just happened so fast. Question 15, what was the jump that I was brave enough to jump on foot and Felicity wasn't? That was a uh, B, the coffin. So well done to everybody who got that one correct. Then at the Breens, I feel like this one's quite obvious, but what um, level did the horse I ride compete at? And that was C, Grand Prix, which still feel weird to say that I've ridden a Grand Prix horse, but anyway, <laughs> moving on. Next was Duke's new stable, but what was it before it was his stable? If you got B, Storeroom, I'll give you a point for that. But also, if you put C, Organized Chaos, I'm gonna take that as a little bit of a fence, but it was pretty much just organized chaos in there. So if you put C, I'll give you a point as well. Question 18 was about how many saddle pads roughly do I have? Because I don't wanna put a real number because it's ever changing and that is quite embarrassing. If you put B, 58, I'll give you a point because I reckon it's around that. That is quite embarrassing. Anyway, moving on. Or if you put D too many, I'm gonna take that as a bit of a fence, but it is true and I do have a problem. So if you put D too many, I will give you a point as well. I feel like some of these answers, it's literally just me exposing myself. But anyway, moving on, moving on. Next was when I went to Carlswood for question 19. What was the major sort of city or town that I was in at the beginning of the video? And that was B, Dublin. So congratulations if you got that right. Well done, well done. And for question 20 was, what was the last sort of challenge or dare you guys asked me to do in the riding dares? And some of the riding dares you guys gave me, no. <laughs> do you want me to die? Anyway, anyway. The uh, the correct answer was C, around the world, which I'm not gonna lie, I did have quite a lot of fun doing that. It reminded me of when I used to be at the riding school before I had all the horses and when I was new to riding. That honestly, I, I, I love that. I'd do, I'd do that in my spare time. 
Um, but yeah, now we're on to the last question, question 21 for my 21 questions of 2021. And that is, for the Instagram controls my life, what made Casper nervous? Now, if you haven't watched this video, you will be highly concerned, but it was A, men with chainsaws. Um, yeah, my, my neighbors decided that when I was riding in the arena, they were gonna cut down some trees in the forest next to us and the noise of the chainsaws or the noise of the tree falling down because it was kind of went down and hit all the other trees. It made such a crack. Poor little Caspi. I was on top of him and he was just, mm -mm, he was not happy. He flung himself in the air, ran to the other side of the arena squealing like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get eaten by something. So we decided to calm him down and finish the jumping session there. But if you haven't seen my Instagram controls my life video, I would recommend, it's a really good one. We had a lot of fun with that. But anyway, let me know guys how you did in the comments below. I would love to know out of 21 what you got. Um, yeah, I had so much fun this year filming all these videos. And if you have missed any of these videos, be sure to watch them. There's some good ones in here, guys. Um, I put a lot of effort into the filming and editing of all the videos this year. I might put on, up on screen how many videos I've created this year because I feel like each year I do more and more. We'll see. I feel like my videos this year have been longer. Also, let me know in the comments below what videos you'd like to see from me. I've got a few challenge Esmes planned for January 2022, so don't worry. More of those will be coming soon because I know you guys enjoyed them. Also, let me know what your New Year's resolutions for 2022 are. Mine are to try and get out there with Joey a little bit more. Also, to be more confident and to be more brave, um, just in general. Um, and probably push myself out of my comfort zone a little bit more. I'm definitely doing that with the challenge Esmes. And as I said before, we've got a few of those coming soon. So yeah, let me know your New Year's resolutions. Let me know what videos you'd like to see from me. But anyway, guys, I'd like to say a huge, huge thank you again for watching my videos. Um, if you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And happy new year. Bye.